Best speed bridger. Best speed runner. Best redstoner. Best hacker. Best PvPer. Best everything except for a best archer. And at this rate, there will probably never be one. Most people try to jump in from classic Minecraft PvP and they find themselves getting outclassed once they're up against someone who can actually handle a bow. I mean, how many of you can even pull off a swipe shot? It's like a flick shot, but you cross full speed over your opponent without stopping. And honestly, it's actually not that difficult to do. But just like any other FPS shooter, one of the biggest hurdles players face is aiming. Yes, I am comparing Minecraft to first person shooters. But when it comes to MC archery, there's new factors to take into account. It's a bow. To accommodate for these new variables, a top Hypixel bow dueler started adding a twist to his regular warm up routine. But then he quickly noticed a sharp improvement in his flicks and swipes as a result. And I'll be sharing this technique that he's kept secret for years, which he called ribbon aiming. So instead of aiming straight at the targets, you want to do some swirls leading up to your shots. Things like infinities, crescents, hearts, butterflies, small circles, wide circles, or any other free form you feel like doing in the moment. And you want to take it slow. The goal is to make your hand get accustomed to the flow of the motion and become much more fluid in aiming. As an optional step, when you're releasing the shot, slightly stop at where you're shooting or make a bouncing motion. And just like AI, your hands and eyes will figure out proper crosshair placement and calibrate for the latency on bow shots. And flicking will naturally come to you as second nature. But there's still a problem with this setup. And it's the same problem that all these other tutorials have had. These kinds of targets aren't very ideal. Well, maybe it works out in regular shooters, but MC Archery is a whole nother beast. Many of your advanced opponents will be moving a lot, and you'll eventually be doing the same too. So what you need is to learn dynamic aiming, where you're adapting to your opponent's movements and to your own. And the best way to do that is with live targets. You will miss a lot, but that's okay. The point is precision, not accuracy. But if you're still too embarrassed to do that and would rather use private target practice, just put an iron golem behind a pillar and use that instead of a stupid button. By having the pillar be the opponent, you'll now want to try hitting around it, aiming at the hitbox of the iron golem. The method will be like aiming past the sides of the player. Cause, you know, people dodge to the sides. And the iron golem simply acts as a visual cue of precision. And if you continue to move side to side while you're shooting, you can still bring in some adaptive elements into your training. It won't be the same as the real deal, but it should still do the trick to help jumpstart your journey into Minecraft archery anyways. And maybe later, something about dodging.